create an application that adds two numbers. So I won't first want to bring up Notepad. And I'll start my web page. I'll start my header section, start my title. And I'll say sum of two numbers. And I'll close off the title and close off the header section. And I'll have my beginning of my body and close of the body and close of the web page. Okay, now we need to have our um, input box, and I'll put a label here, number one, and then I'll say input type equals text, ID equals num1, actually we just say n1, and um, close parentheses, I can do a size, but um, the number two input type equals text ID equals n2 and I probably need a, a break in there otherwise we'll be able to write next to each other and I'll put a break here also okay so then I'm going to have an input and um, Uh, yeah, an input and then um, type equals button and um, let's see what is it value is equal to um, add so now the line break and here's where my answer is gonna be and um, I want to have an input type equals to answer ID equals A and S. Okay, so let's save that and see what it looks like so far. So I do a file, save, hit temp, so it changes to all files, and um, I'll say add it, dot HTML. Okay, so come over here, right click on add it, and choose open with. Google Chrome and uh, three, four, click add, doesn't do anything of course. Um, okay, well that all looks good so far. Now I want to program um, for the input button. I want to program what happens when you, uh, when you click it. So on click equals and I want to bring in the numbers, so I'm going to say n1, or num1, is equal, on click equals, okay, this is, equals, and then, um, num1 is equal to parse float. Something's going on my mouth, my keyboard. Num1 is equal to parse float. I'll say document dot get element by ID and uh, beginning parentheses and a single quote and then my n1 and close that and then um, dot value here at the end. Okay. I'm pushing the space bar, but it isn't going anywhere. Hmm. Interesting. There it goes. Num2 is equal to parse float. And document dot get element by ID into dot value. Now I'm seeing something I'm forgetting. I gotta close off the parse float. So I need a closing parentheses right there. And same thing here. And now I'm gonna add them together. So sum is equal to num1 plus num2. And now I wanna return that value into my answer box. 
So I'm going to say par or um, document dot get element by ID ANS dot value is equal to sum. And uh, I need to do a um, closing double quote for the on click e event. And it seems like I'm missing some parentheses here. Um, on click. No, no, I'm fine. Okay, so let me save that. And come over here, refresh this. Put three in, put four in, and then click add, and it gives me answer, which is seven. If I put six in, click add, gives me ten. Probably doesn't handle it very well if I leave one blank. Not a number. Um, so N A N. Uh, but that shows you how uh, we're programmed that in. Now let's uh, now that we demonstrate that, uh, let me um. Let me go through the code a little bit more just so you see what it's doing. Okay. Very important you notice the names on these. This text block I said was in one. This one was in two. So down here I'm creating a new variable called num1. Variable is like a, a memory location for your computer. Store off, store off a number. Same as like a brain cell for you. If I give you a number to remember, 5 for example. Well, the reason why you can... Remember, 30 seconds from after I told you that is because you reserved a part of your brain, uh, maybe a cell or whatever, um, you know, the storage is up there, to store off that number. Now, when I say document.getElementById in one, this right here, um, document refers to your web page. Get element by ID was looking for the ID. Remember, the ID equals. Specifically, this one's looking for N1. Well, N1 is right here. So it's going to go get the value from that. That's what doc value retur uh, returns. And when I say get the value, I'm talking about whatever the user input into the, the, the blank. And then the parse float will convert that um, to a number. Um, and if I come over here, if I put in 6.2 and click add, notice how it gives us 8.2. Float um, uh, bring, can bring in decimals. Now I do the same thing on the second one. I convert into and then I put it into num2. Now here, this is not like algebra. When I say num1 plus num2, I'm adding those two together and then assigning that value into the sum. And then here, document.getElementById answer. I'm referring to the ID of answer down here, and I'm setting its value equal to sum. So I'm putting the answer right there. Now, the book uses um, uh, inner HTML uh, to do some of this, and you can do that if you want. Um, personally, I like to return it to uh, a component on our, on our web page versus um, just a blank area where you put in the HTML code. But that's a personal preference. But that shows you an example of adding two numbers.